championship is won. They've done it. They've done it. There's so much that goes into even the possibility of winning a championship. Now they have found the way to the end of the road, and the Stanley Cup is theirs. The teams are exhausted as they line up for one of the oldest traditions in our sport the handshake at the end of the series. You don't always like the player that you're shaking hands with, but you have respect for the series that you've just played. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. This is a tremendous award that probably means more in the coming days than it does now. You don't dream of winning the Conn Smythe. You dream of the Stanley Cup. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I remember as a kid watching Johnny Busick, the captain of the Boston Bruins, hold the Stanley Cup above his head. I thought it would be the coolest thing to do. Look how proud and happy the captain is here tonight. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed, player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Waite actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. In what would be his last Stanley Cup victory, Wayne Gretzky gathered everyone at center ice for a team picture, and that has now become a custom. <laughs>